I'm sure a lot of people did not know they could edit videos using Canva. Canva is more than just a graphic design tool. In this tutorial, I will show you a beginner guide on how to edit videos using Canva. So let's get right into Canva. In your Canva homepage, which is like this, you will go to videos here, then click on it. Once you click on it, you would see different templates and different formats. So you can decide to create a mobile video, Facebook video, an Instagram reel, TikTok video, YouTube video, and lots more. Depends on the platform you are creating for. So these are the video templates. They are mobile video templates, Facebook video templates. You can see skincare, short videos, marketing videos, and much more. For this tutorial, we're going to be creating a video from the scratch. So click videos. The video I'm using is the YouTube dimension. So when you click video, this is how the dashboard looks like. Here is where you see the templates. Here is where you get all of the elements. If you want to search for photos, stock videos, and all of that to add, as you can see here, there are audios, videos, graphics stickers and much more so now let's get into designing so we want to add a video say we are creating a video for um, a fashion brand so we're creating a video for a fashion brand and we want to announce our new collection so what you should do is go on to uploads when you go to uploads this is where you upload your files right here you click upload your files and you upload your files here so you can upload your files from facebook google drive instagram dropbox and more and when you upload your files you go onto videos and this is where you are going to see your uploaded files same for audio so for this i'm going to use the stock video options provided in canva to access that i will just go to elements come on here and search so let's search for fashion then i'll go to my videos look for what looks like what i am going for let's use this so i'm going to click on this click this three dots and click view collection so when you do that it shows you pictures videos and every other thing in the same design in the same frame and all of that so you can also filter your search based on color orientation pricing do you want free options do you want pro options and more so these ones i'm using they are the free options you can see that they don't have crowns on them before you start editing you should also have the flow in your mind okay what are you trying to achieve like i said here we are creating a short video that is announcing our collection so this is the video when you bring the video onto your dashboard i think i want to delete this video I'm looking for an intro video, something that is going to grab the viewer's attention. So let's use this one. I think we should use this. So this is the first video that you are going to see. Think of this video like your cover video. So come on here, click here, and then click set video as background. You can see that the video is now our background. Now, let me explain what all of this mean. So here is to add a comment. Here is to delete. So how, why do you need to add a comment? If you are working with teams, more than one person, and you want the person that sees this design in this dashboard, you want them to do something, you can come here and add a comment for them. Here is to delete. Here is to edit. So you can adjust it by basically, you know, all of the white balance, the warmth and all. We're going to do all of that and you can remove the background, create some highlights and all of that. We're going to touch that subsequently. Here is where you can trim your video. Say for example, you can auto trim and here is going to create some key moments from the video. So this video is 14 seconds long. If you want to trim it shorter, you could just drag it like this and you can see that it has been reduced. So. Here is where you remove the background if you want to remove the background and it's only available to the pro users. Here is say in this video now, you want to mute the audio. This is where you come to 
and if it is a talking video you want to enhance the voice the audio of the person you come on here and toggle it on here is where you adjust the speed so you want to increase the speed reduce the speed and all of that here is if you want to change the for example you don't want to use a video you want to use a picture you want to use a color you can change that there and more so let's continue so now that we have our video here let us add our text remember i said before that to add your text you can easily click t on your keypad and you will see the text so let's come on here and you can see here there are lots of you know text templates that you can pick from so it depends on what you are going for so what i want to write now is the name of the brand then presents let's title this this d then i'll come on here to change the color i want to use this color then i will change the font Then I'll move this here, then on my keyboard again. Then I want to say the style lab. So I'm saying the style lab present. I'll change this color. Then I want to change this font again. Then I'll come on here. I want to make all the text in capital letter. I'll click this uppercase. Click again say for example you want to make the text bold click here and I want to add spacing to the letters so let's stretch this so come here let's increase this font size let's say 215 then let's come back here to reduce this to zero perfect you can see that it is already coming together finely this move this come on here to stretch your text you can use this to create anything a style get ready with me videos sales videos and more so i'm saying the style lab presents so i will come here click on this text again duplicate it and let's write the presents text Make sure it's centralized. Group all of this. Move it this way. So it's all centralized now. Let's play it. Okay. So another thing you can do is you can also reduce the transparency. Then you can also change the color here to what will reflect when you reduce the transparency. But that's not what we are going to be doing. So now let us stream this video. Another way you can trim is to just drag it this way, like this. Let's leave this at uh, three seconds. So you can see that it has also reflected here. Next thing we want to do is to add our other video. So click add a new page. So I'm saying the style lab presents, okay, present what? Let me now add a video, go back to element to assess our videos. Okay, let's use this video. Then we click here, then set video as background. Then we add our text. If we do not want to continuously go to this part to add your text, what you can do is just to come here, click on this, copy it, you can click Ctrl C on your keypad, come here, Ctrl V to paste it. Now let's write our text. So let's say Serafina. So the style lab presents Serafina, maybe collection. Copy this, come here, then write our text collection. You can see that it is already coming together finally. I'll increase this, centralize it. We can still choose to 
paste this letter. So let's play what we have. Okay, so we have this. This is three seconds, then we have this. Now, if we want to add a transition between this and this, come on here in between like this, then click add transitions. There are different transitions available. This is color wipe, line wipe, match and move, flow, stack, chop. So it depends on what you're trying to achieve and this is available to all users so let's try this one and let's play it see how this is okay we can also choose to add a transition to the text so click animate then it depends on how you want it Okay, let's use this blur. So let's play it. You can see that. So again, let's come back and add an animation here. Let's do this breathe. Then this as well. Let's use a pan animation here. So let's play it. Serafina collection. Okay, so what else do we want to say? Let's add another page. Go on to element to check our videos. So let's say we want to add a video of somebody speaking. So maybe the Style Lab presents Serafina collection. Then we have a video of like the founder speaking right about the collection briefly. So you have to upload your video so when you're uploading your video you already have the flow of what you want so let's use this video then i'll set the video as background okay this video doesn't match the dimension so let's use another video let's use this video then i will just set the video as background then with the videos you can also choose to flip it if you do not like the positioning so for this video what i want to do with this video is to add her name let us add the name of this founder so click t on your keyboard let's say her name is sheila moore so go on here we are going to change this font let's use this font and we're going to change the color so let's flip this again it's too close so and what we want is that you know when this text comes up it is animated what you go to animate then you can pan it this way and you can choose the pan direction too let's use this and you can decide to add an effect to the text. Let's add a background, you can see, and all of that. Well, let's remove this. So we have our founder talking a bit about the collection. Let's make this here. So let's play this. And we want to trim this. You can see that it is 18, 15 seconds long, which is too long. So we want to just trim it like this and just make it about three seconds so she just comes in speaks about it let's do five seconds because if she's speaking meaning she's speaking for a while so let's make this about five seconds long example you want to enhance the audio click on audio and you can enhance the audio so maybe there's a background noise you want to remove the background noise you can do that and also if you come on here and click here you can easily add pages duplicate pages hide a page copy the link to this page and more another thing you can also do if you double click here 
is to show captions if there are captions in the video you can show the captions and what else that you can do is to go to playback if you want to increase the speed of the video you can do so and if you want to reduce the speed of the video you can do so another thing you can also do is to mute the audio if you want to mute it so let's continue this is the flow styler presents seraphina collection then our founder comes to say something about our collection then what do we want to add again let's go back to our videos say we want to add some behind the scene clips let's add this and just set video as background then we want to add some more videos of people using our pieces we can use let's use this video or let's look for something else let's use this one replace background and can come here to trim you can see that it's too long 14 seconds is a bit long so here you can auto trim it just automatically trims the video for you and here is where it has if it has key moment say it is a talking video and your key moment it is going to highlight the key moments for you and also make you you know select them or not if you want to so let's use this we'll come here and trim this to about 4.3 seconds so i'm saying the style lab presents you know the collection the founder is speaking we have behind the scene clips Let's add some text from the founder. Go on to text. What you can just do as well is to, you know, click T on your keypad and the text will show. I'll just paste my text here. So this is fine. Let's animate this. Let's use this typewriter animation. Then you can increase the speed. I will increase the speed. Then to be, it will appear on enter. You can decide if you want it to show per word, per character, and all of that. So let's play this. Okay, this is looking good. So the next thing that I want to do, let's add one more video that is going to be like the close up. So we have this beginning, this, the founder speaking, some behind the scene clips, some text. Then let's have the last video, which is going to be like a coming soon video. We're just creating, you know, a sort of anticipation, a teaser video. So we cannot reveal a lot of details. So let's set this video as background then we're going to write our text let's copy this and bring it here so here we'll just say coming soon then we can add another text i'll just come here copy this text or you can just easily duplicate like this drag it and drop it Onto the timeline easily so coming soon what day let's say september 2024 september 2024 then we'll go on here reduce the size it depends on what you're trying to achieve i'll take this to zero so let's reduce this coming soon Now let's go back here and add a transition. Different transitions. And you can also choose the speed. 
let's see okay that's too fast so this is perfect let's play what we have this is 13 seconds long this is too long let's just trim it like this so let's play okay so let's add a transition between our founder speaking and this page let's say dissolve let's use the let's try the dissolve transition then i want to flip this so let's play this again So you can see the transition has been affected here. So what we want to do here, let's add another transition here. Let's use the, let's use dissolve. So you just have to continuously keep checking to make sure that it fits the flow you are going for. So say we want to add an overlay, maybe as she's speaking, we want to add an overlay on top of what she's saying and then her voice is overlaid on the footage what we can do let's use this so i will just detach this video then drag this video on here now what we can do here is so what i want to do is as she's speaking right we see the overlay they will continuously see her so to do that come here and then we are going to split the pages so this first page is of her speaking then I just want to delete this from the first page. So we have her speaking like this. Then we have the overlay. I will have the overlays fill the screen like this, just like this. Then I want to split it again. When I split it this time around, I still want her to be speaking. So split to so this 0 0.8 seconds splitted. Then I will delete this. We have her speaking just like this then we have the overlay while she's still speaking then we have her video then let's delete this one then we have all of this you can see how this will also turn out nicely let's trim this so here she's speaking then we have our overlay for the overlay you can also choose to have the overlay like this so it is in a picture in picture format it honestly depends on what you are trying to achieve. So let's make this fill the screen. And this is what we have. Then we have our coming soon. Say for example, we want to show timing for the text. We want the September 24 to show after the coming soon. What we can do, click on the text, click here. Then you're going to come here and click show timing. Now to show you the timing for both texts let's do the same here now you can see the timing for the coming soon and you can see the timing for our september so what i want to do is coming soon should appear first then september appears later to do that just drag it like this on top of where you want it to appear so we have it like this coming soon september did you see that so let me take that again coming soon september basically let me repeat this process click on your text here come here then click show timing then it's going to show the timing then you can drag the timing where you want it to appear so i want coming soon september 2024 to appear just like this now next thing that you want to do if you want to is to add color grade so that's color grade so to do that let's use this video then you want to go to edit and there are different things here there are filters there are black and white monochrome and all of that but no that is not what we are going to do to give the professional touch go to adjust then we are going to go to tint so i wanted to have this cinematic green effect so you can see 
depends on what you're trying to achieve you can see this is in the blue this is sort of warmth so let's use this then we can go on here to you know adjust the saturation then you can also do the same with the vibrancy so let's leave it here you don't want to do this this is just screaming amateur so don't do that so you can also play around with the highlight but for this we're not going to do that so we're just going to touch the vibrant saturation and tint it so now that we've done this let us apply this filter to every other video now instead of doing this one by one what you can just do is to click on the video come on here click copy style click on the next video and drop it like this you can see that it has done that you have to do the same thing again for other videos so let's come on here click on the video then click copy style go to the video then click on it and you can see that it has applied instead of going through the process of doing it one after the other so click on the video then click copy style go here then paste it then i want to copy the style again copy style come on here paste it just drop it then the same thing here copy style go to the next video drop it by just double tapping so copy style come to the next video then double tap you can see so let's play what we have So you can see that it has taken our video from boring especially with the coloring so and it has added a whole new depth and so the next thing we want to do is to add audio this is how you add audio you can either go to your uploads then upload your audio or you can use an audio from the canva audio library so see audios here go to elements you see audio then click see all there are different options available and majority of these options are for the pro users as you can see crown on majority of them so let's search for a fashion audio to go with To add the audio, you have to just drag it and drop it onto your timeline like this. And for the audio, you can also expand the audio like this and you can trim it. Depends on what you are trying to achieve. So remember we have her speaking here. So make our audio stop here. Let's expand this first off. Then in this point, for your audio, you can also choose to adjust it by trimming it you can add audio effects you can split the audio and more so i want to split the audio where we have her speaking then there will be no audio here that's sound then i'll come here that's music come here again then split the audio so here where we have her speaking what i want to do is reduce the song so that it is not overlaying what she's saying then let's come here make sure that the audio is perfect okay so you can see that here we have music here we do not have music which is speaking the audio is reduced the music is reduced then we have music here let's play this then here she speaks And you see that it's looking all perfect. Let's move this to the center. 
if you also want to put multiple audios say you want to add a sound effect for example you can still overlay multiple audios say for example we want to have a sewing machine effect to the first video so we can take this drag it on top of here like this so let's do that again we we'll take this then we'll drag it let's put it here so i will drag this here then we'll just trim this because we only want this sewing machine effect to be in the first clip so let's play this you can see how perfect it is and how you know the sound effect made a lot of changes to it so again you can add multiple audios depends on what you are trying to achieve and this is the very final result have a speaking you, can, you could see the overlaid clip and you can also create this exact same design in real dimension and more now that we are done let us download to do that click share then click download then it will have you download in the mp4 format which is the best and suggested format for videos if you use the canva pro all you have to do is stretch this to the highest so that it downloads at the highest quality possible and you can also choose to download each page as a separate file but this is only available to canva pro users once you are done with that just come on here click download and it is going to begin to download your videos and there you have it this collection is a celebration of strength grace and individuality i hope you found this video helpful do subscribe and see you in my next video Toodles.